Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthy Hong Kong. I took a biological age test at the end of December last year. For details, please see my previous video. My wife and I recently took the test again and submitted new samples. We will provide an updated video on our progress when we get the results back. In this video, I will focus on walking you through the process of how to take the test step by step to point out some of the things you need to pay attention to. If you want to better understand DNA methylation as a measure of age, we will be releasing more videos on this subject. So first of all, do you have any idea of the average biological age in your chronological age group? So on the Epiaging website, they have a calculator that will show, help show you this. So first of all, based on your chronological age, what is the expected epigenetic age that you should have? So I can move this slider to my chronological age, which is 58. And this shows that my expected epigenetic age would be 63.3. But I can also go the other way. So I can look at my expected chronological age based on the results from my previous test. So before I had an epi age of 50, and this shows that my expected chronological age would actually be 43.4. This DNA methylation test is based on a sample of saliva. You can order the collection kit from the Epi Aging Company website or their application and collect the sample at home. The link is in the description. The company is based in Hong Kong but does seem to ship worldwide. The kit comes in a box like this. For at least 30 minutes before you produce the sample, it's advised not to eat, drink, chew gum, brush your teeth, use mouthwash or smoke. So let's see what comes inside the box. So before you start this saliva collection, relax your cheeks and gently massage them with your fingers for 15 to 30 seconds. So this helps produce more reliable results. So typically they say it takes two to five minutes to complete the saliva collection. For us, it was closer to five to 10. So let's actually have a look at what's in the box. So the first is, the, is your code for your particular test. And um, you can input this into the application to track your to track progress of your test. So the next is a QR code that allows you to download the applications for Android and iOS. And you can track your test and also get your results on their application. And so you will want to probably download these. The next is the instruction guides in English. So then there is this box. So the box contains the actual uh, kit and it has a QR code on it. So you can scan the QR code. It takes you to a document, to uh, a help document. But the help document that we, ha we found was only in Chinese. And then there's a Ziploc bag to return the sample in. And finally, a letter, a self-addressed envelope to send back the, the contents, the sample. So here's the actual collection kit. So inside we have a funnel and this small tube. So the tube has a barcode on it with a number and this number matches the number on your card and so this is how they identify that the sample comes from you. Now when you're spitting into this tube you need to go to uh, 5 ml and there are marks along the back but it's very difficult to see and it's harder to see once you start spitting. So what I suggest is that you find where this mark is before you start and maybe highlight it with a felt tip pen or at least get an idea of where it is on the tube. So then what you do is unscrew this blue cap and screw on the funnel. Okay, it goes on like that. And then you spit into the tube until it gets to that five milliliter mark. Now in the Chinese version of the document, it does say that it's okay if the bubbles go over the five milliliter mark, 
uh, but the liquid must not. So if the liquid goes over, then it may invalidate the test. So please be careful of that. Okay, so once you've done that, you can discard the funnel, don't need that anymore, and screw the lid back on. Then invert the bottle and shake it up and down 10 to 15 times to mix the stabilizer with the sample so that it stays stable during the journey back. So then take the Ziploc bag and put the tube into this and send it back. Now we used a, you can use the envelope, we used a courier because we're actually based in Hong Kong, but uh, you know it's designed to go through the post so that should be fine. There is an Epi Aging app for your phone that you will want to download. I have added the link in the description. If you are going to search on the App Store, I suggest to look for Epi Aging, all is one word. If you split the words, you will get many other unrelated results. Once you have the app, click Skip to close the splash screen. You will then need to create an account. You do this by clicking on the Hi Guest symbol in the top right and selecting Register. During the registration process, you will also need to select a public-private key pair. Just hit Generate next to each box to generate the keys, then Save. As it says in the text below, these keys are used to encrypt your data. You should make note of the keys. If you change phone or you need to reinstall the app, the keys will be lost and you will lose access to your data even if you remember your login credentials. As a test, I did wipe my app, then reinstall. Using freshly generated keys did not work, but when I put my old keys back, it did. Back on the home screen, select My Report on the yin yang symbol in the middle of the screen. This is where you can register your test. Enter the ID that you have on the box and press Register Kit. You can also scan the barcode but do note that the barcode is only on the collection tube, not on the card, so you will need to scan it before you send the sample off. The screen will then be updated as you can see here. The first of these tests is the one that I took back in December, and you can see that it is completed. The other is the one that I've just submitted. I've also toggled the buttons to allow notification over email. When the test is complete, you will receive a notification via the app and via email if you register for that. You can then select the panel to show the results on the screen further down the page. Here you can see my results from my first test, showing that my biological age is 50. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you do wish to proceed with the EPH test, there is a discount code in the description below which will give you 10% off the listed price. I wish you all well and I will speak to you again soon.